Who would want to fight between me and Christy? Freaking hate this question. Um, so I would never fight Christy, ever. We decided to kick off with the martial art of Muay Thai, the official sport of Thailand, or Thai kickboxing, developed in Thailand in the mid 18th century. It started being popularized in Western culture in the late 20th century when Thai kickboxers started competing internationally. Muay Thai uses stand-up striking along with various clinching techniques. It also is sometimes called the art of eight limbs, fists, knees, elbows, and shins. Sometimes people say the ninth limb is used in the clinch and it's your head. <laughs> okay, so like, here's the situation. She jumps around a lot and like just just like runs around the circle i will definitely lose if for some reason i was able to like catch her and like knock her out like by luck which chrissy i would never knock you out i would never do that what are we talking about but just hypothetically if we were in fight that would be the only luck that I would have. It'd be the only chance. Because she has so much stamina. It's unreal. It's inhuman, I tell you. Okay, so preparing for this segment that we're doing is just Christy and I trying to figure out what could be good to do. So we've been taking turns doing like strength workouts, conditioning workouts, stretching workouts, fighting routines. <laughs> and we don't know what the f we're doing. We don't know. We trying. And uh, Christy's good. Like I'm the only one over here just like, <sighs> you'll see in the workouts. I can't even get my butt off of the floor. Like, it's a whole thing. I don't know. This is this is definitely, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, so the last set, I'm gonna throw in something real quick. It's gonna be a one, two hold at the top and a one, two, three going down. So on the negative. So hold at the top and then three counts down on the negative. Okay. All right, you ready? Okay, let's go, last set. One. Two, and then three, two, one, and then fast. So a little bit about me. I have a background in personal training. I used to train a lot with a lot of frequency and intensity. I'm talking like eight hours a day, every day of the week. However, a few years ago, I discovered that I had Hashimoto's disease, which is an autoimmune disease, and it leaves me feeling like shit. Oh, my body was just uncomfortable, and I was hurling like all oh, night. Yesterday, I, um, I went to bed with chills and body aches and, you know, the works. And my doctors advised me not to work out the way that I was going. In fact, they told me to kind of just halt. And it's really a passion of mine, and I recently just tried all kinds of new treatments to get my symptoms under control. Finally, my current doctor has gotten me to a point where I'm able to do it. And so I'm really happy she's on board doing this with me. This is gonna be a journey for me. I won't be able to complete some workouts. I might be shaking, I might get sick. I'm here to kind of expose not just Hashimoto's, but autoimmune disease in general. And we're gonna work through it and we're gonna get stronger and we're gonna kick it And it's on and popping, son. <laughs> I am a stay-at-home mom. I watch my two boys most of the time. I also am an NASM certified personal trainer. I got my certification at the beginning of 2020. I'm in very good shape and I'm pretty proud of all the hard work that I consistently put in to get here. See that picture on the left there? That is my spine, and that's from scoliosis I developed as a teenager that stuck around until adulthood. If I don't regularly stay on top of all of my corrective exercises and stretching, my back goes into a full-on spasm, and it is not pretty. Morning, it's 5.30 a.m. My muscles were getting really tight, and it literally woke me up. 
because my lower back, mid back were basically spasming. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna foam roll. I go to my physical therapist fairly regularly, who's based in the Rockville, Maryland area. Her name is Julie Liu King. She gives me a lot of exercises to activate the underactive muscles in my back. And occasionally she'll do dry needling, which is not pleasant, but it does immediately release overactive muscles. I have zero experience in any martial art. So as we're gearing up for this, I'm pretty much guessing as to what correct form is for any kind of punches and kicks. Chalice, on the other hand, was a junior black belt in Taekwondo. And it's going to be really interesting to see the crossover between Taekwondo and Muay Thai. And in the meantime, she's been teaching me a few things. What scares me most about um, the Muay Thai training is, uh, is being, being knocked out or being hit in the face. It's, it's not something that I'm familiar with. I mean, when I played basketball, there was some, you know, rough and tumble type stuff, but straight up hitting and kicking each other. I'm gonna have to really toughen up for that. So we're starting the series and Christy's like, we need to do these assessments and we have to see how our flexibility is and our, a like, I don't know, doing all of the stuff that we, I haven't done since like high school. And we kind of just went down the list. So it was like, how high can you jump? How can you touch your toes? Can you lift your, the trunk lift that you haven't done since like high school? Uh, what else? Our maxes, our bench press maxes, our, all this stuff which is totally relevant. And also really, really made me feel like, wow, I'm so much more out of shape than I thought I was. Oh, I can't do 50. <laughs> We want to see what kind of shape we are in before we start a segment and then after the segment. And going forward, we'll do that before and after every segment. The fitness assessments cover a wide range of abilities, right? So we want to test our strength, our power, our speed, our endurance, our flexibility. It's supposed to kind of cover like everything that would be entailed in being a good athlete. The idea is to see how that will change with different kinds of training. So we are establishing a baseline to see where we're at and we'll be doing that after we finish up our training for Muay Thai. I at least thought that I was gonna be able to do a push-up. I couldn't do a push-up. I think I got, gosh, I think I got like like 25, 35, something like that. Push-ups, um, easy. That was encouraging. And uh, how high I could jump was also really encouraging. What is that? Vertical jump. Well, I actually used to play basketball, so you would think that this would be good. 12 to 16 inches is considered average for a female for a vertical jump and eight to 12 inches is below average. And I got a vertical jump of 12 inches. So I am teetering between below average and average. 30 yard dash. I was running the 30 yard dash and I thought that five seconds was, was good. Turns out that five seconds or more is actually poor. But if you ask me to run like one to three miles, I can run it at under seven minute mile pace. So go figure. What Charles has got going for her is she's like freakishly strong. I mean, her deadlift and squat just off the bat without any practice for these assessments was pretty unbelievable. As you can probably tell, we are always all business. We hope you enjoyed this video. Next up, We'll be taking you to California where we begin our Muay Thai journey. And don't forget to like and subscribe.